All right. Hi there. Hi everyone. Peace be upon you all. Hey, in this video, we will discuss about cosmetic layers. So, what is cosmetic layers? Before we will get acquainted with these cosmetic layers, I would like to talk a little bit about map info layers. So, let's get started. Let's say I would like to open my workspace file here. Don't forget to set your file type into workspace file type select your data and hit open uh, yep this is my workspace file with some or several tables in it uh, when we want to go to see our tables or see our layers uh, we can right click on our working window then drop down to layer control well as you may see here, it appears uh, what tables that are being open recently or currently. Uh, as you may already know that ever since we open a table in Map Info, then Map Info will automatically create a new layers with the layers name same as our tables name. Uh, as you may see here, I have one uh, below the first layers i have one two three four uh, layers means i have four tables are being opened currently on my working window and as you may see here there are some options uh, we ha we can set the visibility of our layers it means i can hide or unhide my tables that's shown here on my working window and we can uh, edit uh, our table by uh, giving checklist on this checkbox on this editable column and we can set the selections or uh, whether our table can be uh, selected or can be freezed and we also can uh, show or hide the attributes of our tables and the last one as you may see here uh, uh, many options or these three options are unavailable because this is kind of different with other tables the other tables is a vector tables which mean it is uh, digitizable i can digitize and uh, modify all of this data uh, unlikely this uh, table or these layers cannot be edited since it is in raster format uh, while the others is um, vector formats I will not talk more about this. Uh, we will discuss about this uh, in next video afterwards, hopefully. For example, I would like to uh, edit this borehole uh, location tables uh, or borehole location layers. I only need to uh, give in the checks checklist on this checkbox on this editable uh, column. When I hit OK, you may notice this drawing toolbar is active so I can start editing my uh, table by digitizing a polygon, rectangle, uh, polyline, etc. So ever since I start digitizing uh, a specific tables, the save buttons is uh, automatically will be active it means uh, we have an option to save our works or not uh, for example I would like to close all of my window here means I would like to just closing up all of my uh, tables that are being open so map info asks me whether I want to save my data or not so I just want to discard it I mean I just neglect it and let's try to open it again once again all right the same procedures is also uh, can be applied into uh, another tables so as you may see here above or on top of all all of these tables there are tables named cosmetic layers so what is this cosmetic layers this is default layers that 
cannot be removed in our layer control unlike uh, the other ones this uh, other layers is our uh, own tables that store in our computers so what is this cosmetic layers well this cosmetic layers uh, also have option to be uh, edited so when i check this editable uh, box i give a checks in in this editable box for cosmetic layers when i hit ok our drawing toolbox is also active so when i start digitizing for example i would like to draw a line a polygon and a rectangle so take a look at this uh, save table button here it's still not active means so how can i uh, save uh, these cosmetic layers but uh, in, the, in the other hand that uh, these cosmetic layers is uh, not store as table as a table in our working uh, windows so when I close all my window map info asks me to save my workspace file so it's not single table so it's actually attached with our uh, workspace a file when I have this card I mean I just uh, ignore it so let's try to open it up again so you may wondering how to set this cosmetic uh, layer into a table into a table file so we go to layer control again I would like to edit these cosmetic layers I hit OK for example uh, I try to draw a rectangle somewhere here in offshore area so I would like to save this uh, object into a table so you may wondering how to do that so to do so you only need to go to map all right and drop down to this option save cosmetic objects when you are using the higher versions of map info since i'm using the 10.0 versions of map info to save the cosmetic objects option is only, is only available on this map menu and drop down to save cosmetic object when you hit cos save cosmetic object uh there are uh, options will be appear afterwards it say whether you want to create new table you may me meaning uh, we want to separate this object into new table or we can attach this object into uh, another tables that are being op open currently okay for example I would like to create just create new table I hit save and just give the table name rectangle for example and I have save automatically the table is created so when we go to drive our uh, layer control by right click and hit layer control see we have new new layers name a rectangle with respect to our new tables that are uh, being open currently the same name as the the layer name rectangle all right uh, so the question may arise that or you may wondering so what is the purpose of map info provide these options or provide this cosmetic layer features for us well uh, let's say when you want to uh, doodle something or digitize something that you are not uh, going to put this digita uh, digi digit digitizing object into uh, our table uh, you can employ this option for example I would like to create something here uh, I say accident accidentally uh, and you may be thinking that yeah, I would like to 
save this object into your table you can do uh, the, the step that I just uh, I, I do the step that, that I just told you so another objective of these cosmetic layers uh, sometimes uh, there is an options or there is some options in map info that uh, probably uh, map info automatically create a vector file that may be useful for us for example I would like to create a scale bar okay scale bar is uh, something mandatory uh, features for uh, for a map or something like that as you may see here I have a scale bar uh, creator toolbar on map info uh, to activate this uh, toolbar you can go to tool and go to tool manager drop down to tool manager and uh, find uh, scale bar as where is else as scale bar you, you you only need to check this box uh, or to load this box or set the auto load uh, in order to set these options on always available ever since you open the map info or only check the loaded buttons or check this loaded box in order to make it uh, visible or available all right uh, right now I would like to create a scale bar when I create a scale bar so there is the options tells me what unit I, uh, I would like to choose let's say in mirrors I set it 1000 mirrors in length of the scale bar so this is my scale bar so actually when you click this object or scale bars actually it is a table right it is an object it's a vector file so this vector file is stored in cosmetic layers so when you go right click here our cosmet our cosmetic layers editable button is uh, checked so let's say i would like to uncheck it again once again i would like to create another uh, vector file let's say i want to put a north arrow on our map example I would like to put an arrow here so it asked me uh, what arrow style or type that I would like to use let's say this one or let's say this one it's kind of fancy all right when you click this object and go to right click see the cosmetic layer is highlighted in bold menu selecting these layers because yeah that's kind of uh, easy thing using map info uh, to recognize an object what layers that uh, object are referring to we only need to select the object and go to the layer control and our selecting object will direct us uh, by bold highlighted by bold uh, uh, layers name here so when i want to clear all of this uh, cosmetic layers just go right click and clear cosmetic layers drop down to clear cosmetic layers when you are using the higher versions of map info save cosmetic layers is also available on this drop down menu okay this will be automatically removed i would like to create skill bar once again this scale bars is located in our cosmetic layers when you click the editable box here so the scale bars can be edited anyway All right so when I want to save this cosmetic layers I only need to go to the map and drop down to save cosmetic object I will save it into new layers let's say scale bar for example yep 
and when you go to layer control new layer will be shown automatically created its name scale bar well that's all for today